Welcome to a mom made it video. Delicious yeast bread starts with properly activated yeast and the way to do that is to dissolve it in water that's the right temperature. Yeast is a living organism. If your water is too hot, you're going to kill your yeast. But if your water is too cold, then you're not going to fully activate your yeast and your bread isn't going to rise enough. Using a candy thermometer is an easy way to get your water to be the right temperature. The traditional recommended temperature for proofing or activating dry yeast is between 105 degrees Fahrenheit and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. The standard method for dissolving yeast is to add two tablespoons to four tablespoons of water for every two and one fourth teaspoons of active dry yeast. And that just happens to be the amount of yeast that is in each individual package of yeast. Put the yeast in the bowl that you're going to be using to mix up the rest of your bread ingredients in. Add the warmed water. Stir to dissolve your yeast. Let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. It's ready when you see some bubbles. Now, if you want to be really, really sure that the yeast that you're using is alive, then just add a pinch or two of sugar along with the yeast and the water. If your yeast mixture gets foamy after about five to 10 minutes, then you know it's alive, it's activated, and it's ready to mix with your other bread ingredients. Now, just remember that the water that you've been using to proof your yeast in is in addition to the amount of water or liquid that your bread recipe is calling for. So, so don't subtract the amount of water that you're using to proof your yeast or to activate your yeast in from the total amount of liquid that your bread recipe calls for because that's already been adjusted for in the recipe. Now some yeast brands may recommend a slightly different water temperature for their yeast or they may recommend that you add a little bit of sugar to the yeast in the water when you mix it up. So just be sure to follow whatever recommendations or directions are on the packaging of the brand of yeast that you've decided to use. Thanks for watching and good luck.